Hey y'all, this is Ryan Avery. Uh, I am going to be doing videos every week to journal, document my journey of what it's like to get my master's at Bellevue University. Right now I am getting my master's in industrial and organizational psychology with them and it is my first week. So I wanted to share a few things with you that I have learned, that I've taken away, and that I feel like could be improved. This will be all, by the way, this is all my perspective, my view, where I'm standing from. All of us have different views. We have different backgrounds, different religions, sexualities, or everything. So I, uh, I'll be sharing it from my perspective. And it looks like I am petting something, and I am. I'm petting a little puppy right now. He, uh, he comes to work with me every day and studies with me every day. So there's three things I want to talk about. First thing. After week one, I have absolutely learned that it is imperative for me and why it was so critical that I did not start my master's right after my undergrad. And I am so glad I waited a decade. Oh my gosh, I waited a decade until I got my master's. And after this first week of learning, I'm seeing the benefit of why that's so important because A, there are things that I learned and know and already know how to do in relation to like presentations and conversations and things that I'm presenting on. And it gives me real world experience that I can use for my papers and my presentations, which I absolutely love. If I would have gone into my graduate degree right off the bat after my undergrad, I might not have felt as successful as I'm feeling right now within the degree, um, even though it's week one. <laughs> but I feel good about it because I'm using my content, my articles that I've been reading, the paper that I've been reading, the presentation I'm doing that is due in a couple days, I'm using it for my real life work. And so it allows me to feel like I am double winning because I am doing something that is not only I'm learning, but I'm helping other people uh, with it as well. So it's okay to take a little bit of time in between your undergrad and grad. In my opinion, it worked really well for me. What about you? Um, do you disagree? Do you like that? Do you think you should go right into it? Um, do you think you should wait a couple years? What are your thoughts? Uh, put them in the comments down below. Second thing, um, this is some feedback for any people out there in the Bellevue University world who are working at Bellevue University. There are two things that I felt like we could have improved a little bit. Um, I really would have liked a better student ID. Um, I got my student ID and it was kind of like flimsy and it was kind of like made out of plastic and I, I wanted to feel, it was my first piece of Bellevue University thing and I wanted to feel like mm, Bellevue University. I, did anyone else feel that way when you got your student ID? Maybe you don't even like a student ID. I like it because now I'm like student discounts. Um, so for me, like I would have liked to have seen a better student ID. Um, and then I also, okay, this is going to be so embarrassing. And so if anyone else didn't do this and I was the one person, I'm okay with it. Uh, I Was anyone else confused when you got like to my Bruin account and you're like, Bruin, shouldn't it be Bellevue University? And then I was so, because I'm not a sports person really. And so I didn't even know Bruin until I learned a little bit more about Bellevue University. And so that one confused me a little bit. So yeah, anyone else? Me? You can say, you can say, Ryan, that was you and that's okay. And then the third thing that I want to talk about this week that um, I really liked, I really liked how my professor set up um, the class because what she did is she did this YouTube video. And so if any professors are watching this right now, she did a YouTube video where she introduced herself. She talked about personal stuff. She showed about the course. And I really liked that because then it felt like a personal connection. It, it felt more than an online learning environment. It felt like I really know her and I'm really getting to know my my cohort. So I really like that aspect of it. I wish and I hope my professors do that every um, class that I have. And if you don't do a YouTube video because it's really helpful for me. And then here is, I would say the lesson, the thing that I'm doing that I'm using for my degree. Um, I'm going to follow three things and this, oh my gosh, you see that dog hair? Whoa. Okay, three things. Um, I, and I follow this off of uh, what doctors do and they do three things in order to master their uh, profession. They learn it, they practice it, they teach it. So that's what I'm going to do every week. I'm going to learn something, I'm going to practice something, and I'm going to teach something so it sticks. So this week, what can you learn, what can you practice, and what can you teach? Whether you are going to Bellevue University or you're thinking about it or you're not going to Bellevue University, what is something you can learn, what is something you can practice, and what is something you can teach? I hope everybody had a great week. I did. I'm learning a lot already, and I can't wait for week number two. I'll talk to you all next week, everybody. Bye.